In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, procedurally change the name of a text file on an SD card uh, using CircuitPython. I've done the same exact tutorial in Arduino, and if you happen to come from that video or go check it out, vice versa, whatever, you'll notice immediately that the code for our CircuitPython is considerably uh, shorter than the code for Arduino. Uh, this code in particular I've made for the B data logger. It's an ESP32 data logger board. You don't need that board to be able to do this, but this is just what that code is for. Um, if you're interested in that, check out the links below. And in fact, some of the code in here you don't even need, period, because some of this is for the uh, Beat Data Logger itself. In any case, I'll quickly run through this. Um, so basically what this code is doing is we're using a variable to change the name of a file on the SD card periodically. Um, so this, uh, let me find the right line. Yeah, this right here is where it's you know it's opening up a file. Right now it looks a little funky. Normally it would kind of look something like this. It would look something like that. But if we wanted to change this name periodically, we need to set it up as a variable. Okay, it's pretty straightforward, but we'll we'll get into it. So. In this instance, on this uh, B data logger, since it has a built-in real-time clock, I'm using the date from the real-time clock to name my files every day. And this is what that looks like. So, in you know, in theory, like if you want to collect data and you want to keep that data for that day in its own file, you can break it out like this. And this is what I've done. But you know, if you're not using a date, if you're using some other variable that you want to change periodically to make a different file name, uh, it works basically the same way. So. We'll run through the code real quick. It's not going to take very long. Um, basically, you just import you know the Adafruit SD card uh, library, cut whether libraries you may need. I don't know why I have that one in there twice, but I do. Um, no, I don't care about that. Um, basically, set up all the SD card stuff, and then we mount it. Uh, it's like I said, this is considerably shorter than what Arduino is. Not that Arduino is necessarily hard once you figure it out, but it, there's just a ton more code that you have to look at. Whereas all this is nice and compact and pretty easy to read. Uh, this is literally just for the real-time clock so that we can set the time on it. So you don't need to, if you don't have the B data logger, you don't need this at all. <laughs> um, anyways, you come down to uh, a while loop that's true. And basically I'm getting the real-time uh, date time, saving it to RTC. This is the name of your file. So mine I have set up because I'm adding several different variables in here because one's the day, month, one's the day, one's the year, etc. But if you just had a simple variable, you could do something like, um, actually, let's just go back. You know, do var equals string variable plus dot text. That's it. Pretty. Whoops. Apologize. I'm trying to clean this up. There we go. That's all there is to it. And that will change the text file name periodically. Um, all you have to do is basically just put your variable into a string and then append it to dot text. And again, if you've looked at the Arduino code doing the same exact thing, it's considerably more involved. In any case, we come down here, um, we go to open, we want to open the file, you know, whatever the variable name is, and it's Pretty straightforward. We just need these curly brackets here, and then we do a dot format, and then we put whatever our variable name is in here. So mine is date because I'm doing the date. But if you had a regular variable, you just put that in here, and it will append whatever that whatever's in here that's being stored in date. It will take this and put it in the curly brackets when it actually does it for real. And then the A is for appending. And then you just put whatever you know you can append whatever you want into. Uh, that file. And as long as that file, you know, if you want to keep using that file, you know, like in my instance, like I write several times to the same file every day. So if you wanted to do that, it'll, it will do that. It's not, you know, it won't make it necessarily make a new file every single time if you have it set up that way. So like I said, it's pretty straightforward in circuit Python, whereas Arduino's a little bit more involved. Um, but again, it's not, terribly difficult either way. But anyways, that's how you do it. Um, 
all the links will be down in the description, either for the V data logger, if you're interested in that, or if you just want to look at this code, the link to this code will be there so you can copy and paste it or, you know, make whatever edits you want to it. Um, so hopefully that uh, has been useful. And if you uh, like this video, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.